Hello everyone and welcome to an introduction to my Small Rockets mod in Kerbal Space Program 1.11 with Realism Overhaul. The mod is compatible with 1.8.1 as well, that is where it was made, but we are checking it out in 1.11 right now. It is meant to fill up the early part of the tech tree in Community Tech Tree, and as long as Community Tech Tree is there, it should be compatible. And it is meant for my RP2000 tech tree, which is a minor modification on the Community Tech Tree. And I'm just going to bring out a procedural tank so I can stick things on it to show you what it consists of. Uh, the very first thing is a payload adapter, which is not very useful right now because I need to add tweak scale to it. But uh, it has a control core inside, so it is a controller, but it's a little big right now for small rockets. So we need to make sure that that is tweak scalable. So that is probably not something that I need to highlight right now. But uh, the first major feature is small model rocket engines and these uh, come in different sizes there's this k uh, 480w and these are real ones i found on the web and got their stats and made them so this is a l uh, 1090 i can't even zoom in close enough to see the tag uh, 1090w uh, these last for very short amounts of time l610 and my goal with this mod in general was to provide plenty of choices without the mod becoming very large. So the mod in total is uh, 45 megabytes. And so it shouldn't be too hard to sneak it into your installs. And of course, after you finish the early part of the tech tree, you probably don't need it anymore. Uh, so there's a array of model rocket engines of various sizes. And these are real ones available for sale and properly priced, and they're all in start. So for those who are fans of the infamous Realism Overhaul Baby Sergeant, uh, those were used on the Explorer 1 launch in real life, well, this is the modern version, basically. And so you can put together your little cluster of these engines in order to... Uh, do the final bit to get into orbit, or potentially, if you play your cards right, maybe get something into space. But that begs the question, what would you be getting to space with these little things? Or even to high altitude to get some science. And to that end, I uh, added CubeSats. So we have CubeSats. Unfortunately, CubeSats are really small, and so they're really hard to see. Uh, we have a 1U CubeSat structure, and you can see the little nodes in it so that you can put these various platforms and so the possibilities are a, an accelerometer which uh, provides the normal gravity data uh, not the seismic accelerometer data that wouldn't make any sense and there's the barometer there and there's a battery there's a command core which is model after a arduino mega uh, there is a magnet torquer which is a kind of reaction wheel uh, there is a blank platform, which would just be a collider so that you can put things on. Uh, CubeSat RCS, uh, it's really, really weak, and there isn't much fuel. So keep that in mind. It's nitrogen, and yeah, uh, unless, yeah, be careful. <laughs> and uh, a CubeSat reaction wheel, and Star Tracker and Basic Avionics. This provides uh, better SAS functionality, prograde and retrograde hold. Uh, by default, uh, we do not get that with the control core. Um, so yeah, and this is the thermometer, and it's modeled after. Uh, well, if you've used Arduino's, we you might recognize this sort of thermometer, but it's also a humidity detector in, in the real version. It's really hard, admittedly, to put these on the little nodes inside. So, so for the CubeSat. The 3U CubeSat, I put the control core in already. So we've got a control core and battery platform in there. And so you can add other things. Uh, probably not. I just need to remove some of the nodes so that they don't overlap with the stuff I already put in there. Uh, of course, uh, you can go ahead and shift it and such. The antennae aren't super duper. Oh, and there are antennae. Sorry, I, I uh, stopped at the thermometer. Helix antenna, and these are not part of it. Uh, relay antenna and two simple antenna antennae. So I'll just shift it in. So the helix antenna would probably go in like that and extend, pops out like that. 
right? But it's not a relay. That's just a normal antenna, um, direct. And, oh god, where did that go? <laughs> well, this is going to be a bit of a problem using CubeSats. I don't know if the zoom is better in stock, or maybe I can configure it. But it is, these are little whip antennae. Oh, the, uh, you can sort of see them there. Uh, right there. So, and then they retract. And there's a two antenna version and a four. And then there's also the relay antenna. So that's a normal antenna as well. And then a relay antenna is available. It's not very fancy because it was small. And so it's like this. And we tuck that in. Unfortunately, I think I made it too shallow. Well, I'll show you what I mean. Um, it sort of clips in. So right now, uh, to make it work out, we'll have to have it poke out. Back the antenna. And so right now it's poking out like that in order to not clip the top of that. But anyway, that's the relay antenna for now. I'll have to fix that. Basic, very basic. I didn't want to make a complicated animation. So that's a CubeSat. An alternative, though, is the Sounding Rocket Core. The Sounding Rocket Core can take the same platforms, except they're all in a convenient location inside here. So you can still put in your reaction wheel. And uh, the RCS is cheating because, of course, it's solid, the walls. And it shouldn't be able to use RCS through it. But you get the picture. You uh, dump your platforms in there. Occupy the nodes, put a bunch of batteries, and you've got your little CubeSat. Well, in this case, Sounding Rocket Core. And with the Sounding Rocket Core, if we take all this other stuff off, that makes it easier to use. And the Sounding Rocket Core is like the Explorer probe, so Explorer 1. Uh, this makes it easier to use the various rocket motors. It's a little bit smaller than the size O, and it is uh, somewhat larger than this uh, size N. Uh, some, uh, the O and N refer to the thrust, well, the total impulse, and not the diameter. So the diameters can vary. And so this M can fit underneath like that. Uh, so it's uh, deliberately meant to be between sizes. Uh, it, on one hand, it might be nice to be exactly the same size, but that would make it sort of awkward for the smaller sized little model rocket engine so I decided to go like this. So anyway, so that is the equivalent of the Explorer 1 core but now with CubeSat platforms instead. Now it's gonna have a hard time powering itself so you better put a lot of batteries. The, these other CubeSats have the fold out solar panels and you could add solar panels. I added the uh, sort of basic solar panel deal here. You could just slap one on like that. That can happen. And as long as you have a reaction wheel in there, that could work. And so I've provided the panels with just the bare ones and also a bare panel like that. Trying to use the CubeSat structures that are empty like this probably isn't advisable because it's really hard to get things on as it is, and much less close it up. Anyway, so those are the CubeSats. But there's more than that. Uh, model rockets and CubeSats are really tiny things and finicky. Uh, we have, uh, shall we say, proper rockets? Proper rockets. The Skyrora, and I'll add more as we go along, but uh, the Skyrora XL is our first proper rocket. Uh, this is actually the third stage adapter. You'll need a decoupler uh, between whatever payload. This is a incorrect payload for this. This is the third stage. It doesn't have a decoupler on its own, so you're going to have to put a procedural decoupler or something on it. Uh, that's the third stage, and this is the third stage adapter. And all this pops up with typing in Skyrora. And then this is the second stage and the second stage fairing. So this is in honor of Skyrora. Obviously, it does not imply that Skyrora, uh, the company, endorses this in any way. Um, so, OK, and interstage adapter. I think I put that on the wrong note. Yes, this is a tribute to their efforts. Perhaps. And there are nodes for each of the engines. I'm not going to put them all on. Uh, actually, they should probably... 
Uh, no, I guess they do poke out like that. Anyway, uh, unfortunately, the bottom part is not where it ought to be. So there's nine engines at the bottom. It is a kerosene HTP rocket, and it can get a little bit over 300 kilograms to orbit. So that is what you're expecting there. Uh, I think I did a reasonable job on the engines, so hopefully they meet with people's expectations. 85 kilonewtons here. So, yep, that's the Skyroller XL. The other rocket that currently comes with the pack, and again, I'll plan to make more. And on my list, uh, there's a Beal BD-2. Uh, there's a Kistler rocket. Uh, I need to make sure I can get numbers for these things, though. So, we'll see. The other rocket is a little bit hard to search for because it's Launcher Space's Rocket 1 and it uses Engine 1, but as you can probably guess, if you type Launcher Space, Rocket 1, or Engine 2, actually I think it's Engine 2, um, you're not going to get good results. So, uh, we are going to just find the parts. Uh, that's Skyrora. Uh, rocket 1 second stage, Rocket 1 first stage, It'll need a procedural... I didn't make a payload adapter for it, so I just suggest using procedural parts. A procedural payload adapter will be fine. And so, since my own little payload adapter isn't really useful at the moment because it doesn't have tweak scale, you can use this. The downside to this compared to the one that I had or intended to make was that uh, this doesn't have a control core in it. So that goes on top there, and we can size it up. Obviously overdoing it for this little Explorer 1-ish kind of thing. And Rocket 1 fairing. That's how it is as far as their website showed it. And we need an Engine 2 vacuum. And we'll get one of the Engine 2 sea levels out and then we also need the inner stage rocket two uh, sorry rocket one inner stage so it's like that and then we have engines at the bottom five of them but yep very simple rocket this one is kerosene and liquid oxygen and it has a control core built into the second stage so those are the parts that is what is included in the small rockets pack right now and I hope it is useful to people. Uh, certainly if you're going to be playing the RP2000 tech tree, which I will uh, post at some point in greater detail, uh, it would be essential, I think, uh, because otherwise a lot of the rocket parts are sort of legacy rocket parts instead of newer rocket parts. So yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.